In today's example, what we are going to do, we are going to use application integration to move file between different buckets of Google Cloud Storage. So application integration provides you easy capability of moving files or making a copy of files between Google Cloud Storage buckets. So today we will see how we can uh, go and use application integration and access a file from a bucket named A and then move it, move it to a different file bucket or within the same bucket itself, you can move the file and you can choose to either rename the files or keep the same file names itself. So let's get started and build this use case. Now to work on our use case of moving file between different buckets of Google Cloud Storage, what I have done, I have created two folders inside the same bucket, but they can be in different bucket itself. That doesn't matter. And we will see how we can set up in application integration to move files. So in my Google Cloud Storage, I have a file source folder with a file name as green sample one. And then what I want to do, I want to dynamically move from application integration, my file to file destination folder. Now I am in my application integration console. I'm going to create a new integration. Now I have the canvas where I can design my integration. To test my integration, I'm going to put one API trigger. This is for my testing purpose itself. You can either have an API trigger or you can also create a, a scheduled trigger where you want to move files or you can also have a pub sub trigger where a file is dropped into one bucket and then can be moved to another bucket itself. But for today's demo, we are just going to use API trigger and see if our files are properly moved or not. Next, I'm going to drop a connector. Let's configure this connector. So even before I started doing this integration, I created a connector to my GCS uh, bucket, which is very easy. You can go and create your GCS connector. So here is my connector, which I have created in application integration, which is very simple. It is using a service account and this service account has been given access to this GCS project um, where my GCS uh, buckets are. So it has access to all the buckets inside that. So it is very simple. You just select the connector for cloud storage and then choose a service account. You can either create a new service account or you can have your own um, default service account of compute, uh, which application integration can use. And then it will use cloud identity and you can go to uh, cloud IAM and give access to this service account to access the buckets inside this project. Now I'm back to my connector configuration. So I'm going to select my connector, click on next. Now what I want to do, I want to do an action. It's not an entity related work. It's an action which I want to make. So I will select that and select move object. Now, as soon as I drop this, now once my connector is configured, you will see there is a new variable created by the connector configuration and it requires four values to be set. One is object destination, bucket source, object source, bucket destination. And this is what we are going to set now. So now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to create a JSON object, which is having information regarding the source bucket, the destination bucket, the source object name, which I want to send, uh, read and the destination object file name, which I want to set up, which is that green sample one moved. And this I'm doing just to show you that you can change the name of the file or you can keep it same. It depends on your use case, what you want to do. So so I'm going to take this object and make a variable inside my application integration. So this variable which I am setting, you do not have to set this variable like this. I am making it so that I can map easily the information. But if you already have all the information in different variables, you can take it from there and utilize that information. So what I have done, I have given the JSON object so that I can get a schema created and also given the default value. And in my default value, I am setting all the information which I want to move and the file uh, object or the file folders where it is coming from. Click on create. Now I have this information, so we need to map it. So I'm going to drop our data mapper. Now let's map the information out of our object, which is the GCS move data, which I have set up. So I want to map bucket destination, bucket source, the source object name and the destination object name. And I want to move map it to my object destination where I want to move it, which is my bucket destination here. Um, so the bucket destination here. So let's drag it. So this will set up my bucket where I want to move and the source bucket. And next thing is the source object name. And last 
is the destination so again just to let you know this is object name which is having the folder inside your bucket so if you have a deep uh, folder created within folders so you have to give them completely with using slashes so again let just show you my object data looks something like this so if you have file source within another folder another folder so you just give with slashes you do not have to give a starting slash or in the bucket also you do not have to give any slash cool now let's uh, run it and see whether our file gets moved i'm going to click on test integration was successful if i go to sec check the log our data mapping was done file move object was called our connector payload was set up like this bucket destination the file where to move what to move and let's go to gcs and see if the file was actually moved so if i click on my file destination or maybe let's just give it a refresh if i go to my file destination now i have a file called green sample one move and if i go to my file source the file has been moved it is gone from there make a copy also so now i am in the documentation of cloud storage connector so within this if you check all the actions so what are action i used i used the move object i set up the bucket source destination and everything but if you just wanted to make a copy and not move it you can do the same thing but call a different action rather than moving object call a copy object action so it will make a copy and not move your file and if you want to have some examples there are example setups done here and this is how we also set up our information and then that is how you can use cloud storage connector to move objects or copy object or delete objects from cloud google cloud storage using application integration